Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're playing... Nearly said Fallout 4, yes. Hogwarts Legacy, that is what we are playing. And we're just... We're in one of Hagrid's huts. Rebellion. You know, in, like... A hundred and odd years in the future. We do have a quest over here, so we're going to do this. Oh, Scrope knows about the book we found. And yeah, it is missing pages. Scrope. And now we need to go across the bridge. Who so. Scrope? Right, so there's the thing that we need. So we can move these floaty ones. So if I just drag that one across. A few times. I think it moves better when it's floating, but... Oh well! But yeah, there is two Hagrid's Huts in this game. Because I... Th I watched a video... A few Honk weeks ago. Ah, I think I know just the and place. they were talking about how this Hogwarts is similar in ways to the one in the film. But obviously things will have changed, and in the films there are two Hagrid's Huts, so... Down to the water's edge. Hmm. Because in it's one it's by the Quidditch field, and in another it's where we saw it, or the other way around. But anyway, we're meeting Scrope. Oh, that's a nice shot of Hogwarts, with Scrope in the uh, way. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Okay, that's reassuring. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She has a private she grotto? She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But... How do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Yeah, why not? How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Well, congratulations. I am going to ask about his ear, though. You your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. I don't think that's the way it works, but if you want to... Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Well, I was going to do it anyway, but the young Slytherin would be willing I just to wanted help. to know more. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. A piece of toast. You are joking. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And... I walked away from you, Scrope. I'm very sorry. Right, so I did die multiple times, so you can tell it changed a day while I was trying. Okay, so that is too big to be lifted. That's cool. Accio. 
But how are you all doing? I'm doing good, thanks for asking. If you didn't ask, then... Ow. Ouch. Too far. Oh god, we're gonna die. Oh my god, we're gonna die. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to survive. And not in the right way, clearly. It's so much higher in levels than me. But we still killed it. And I'll take its tongue. That doesn't sound right at all. Oh no, there's more. Ah, run away. How do I flip one onto its back? I mean, I did it before, but... Ow. Right, we're just going to run back over here and hope some of them go back to where they came from. I mean, I'd count that as flipped on his back because he did go flying. But oh well. Right, one more. Okay, a few more on that. That's gone. Got two more left. And one of them's over there. That's fine. Come on. He's literally sat still. This is great. Okay, is that one going to stop me? Yeah, it's going towards us now. I don't know why I keep using Incendio. Like, it's not going to do anything when he's over there in the water. Right, there we go. Sorted. I was waiting for it. Right, I don't think there's any more on the way there. Well, there wasn't, because we jumped. Okay, so we just go in here. There's a pedestal there. I don't know how the Why toast is still to toasty toast? and not... I suppose that's soggy, where it goes. but... Alright. Okay, that doesn't look scary at all. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Oh, that means we're gonna have to find something else. Could it be a visitor? Oh my god, he's got no head. I mean, he does have a head, but he's decapitated. <laughs> ah. I don't know why he's smiling. The My character's is smiling. Like, that's scary as hell. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. Oh, How in nice. the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, 
Perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. Oh, can we and go there? You see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? Oh, and well, I'll, I'll show you where to find the pages. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Oh, thanks. I was going to ask about the toast, but I thought I don't even Hello, want to Scrope. know. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. We're going to have to find Scrub it anyway. I know we are. consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Ah. Well, anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe us, and come back for the next one. Thank you, and goodbye.